Hey guys, so it looks like this is my new project and my new Let's Play that's coming out soon. Uh, so you might have noticed instantly off the bat, this is all in Japanese. That is because this game is a fan translation. Because the final copy never came out outside of Japan, which is a shame because this is one of, if not, my favourite games. And I'm not going to say what it is just yet, despite the fact you can probably see it in the title. I'm going to keep it suspense a little bit longer. And if you haven't seen the title, then maybe you can try and... Work it out yourself, maybe, because there are little subtle hints already as to what it is. But this game is fantastic, and while the sequel to this did actually come out outside of Japan, this one didn't. And I could have done the other one, but I think I might save that for a later date, because this game, as I understand, isn't on YouTube very much, and it's actually a really big favourite of mine, and I've only had the chance to play for it once, and even then, I actually used cheats. I gave myself instant, uh, massive boons, let's say and it became almost simple and here we go this is the game fire emblem fire emblem 6 to be precise this is the fire emblem that started off this series where it's all quite new graphics and quite like the recognized graphics because i think fire emblem 7 after this is probably one of the wider recognized fire emblem games this is the one just before it that has that started it all so to say and here we have the main character roy and i'm pretty sure everyone knows him from Smash Bros. Melee, considering he came out in that before he actually started in this game. This game came out after Smash Bros. Melee. Roy's debut was actually in Smash Bros. Melee. So, and that was about four months, I think. I think I've already mentioned that. Okay, I'm going to skip this, because I don't want you seeing all the characters before I get into the game. I'm going to press start, and I've got one... Oh, God. I'm not actually sure what the... I've got one start there, and that was because I was just quickly checking it worked. Uh, extras. Much in there? Tutorial? No, I don't fancy doing a tutorial. Okay, we're gonna start a new game then. Let's ha- let's go! Dawn of Destiny. This- I can't read because it's in Japanese. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fan translation cannot do anything with these, because they're actually, like, not words, they're more of a cutscene. So, unfortunately, nothing can be done with these, but the rest of the game is entirely in English, and it's all edited very well. In fact, it's almost flawless, so kudos to fan translations. I'm pretty sure if you look on the internet, you will find it. It's a big project, it's been working on for years, and it is amazing that it's come out. So this is going to be my new game. I've just finished uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, and I felt in the mood to do some more Fire Emblem. And here we go, straight into the story. The people of the continent, Elib, have been spreading technology and civilization for some time now. After the dragons had been defeated. Oh, okay. <laughs> in the dragon human ones. See, I'm a bit disjointed because it's so slow. Alright, uh... Here we have the kingdom of, I can't actually read that, Utaria, that's it, which is the highest level of civilization in Alib. Anyway, the kingdom of Bern, the most military and pragmatical attitude about life is location, located in the east. Right, that's east, that's that way. Who do we have next? Next we have two strongest nations in Alib, the lesser nations located in between them. So that's Utaria and Bern. Uh, Lycia, this is the Lycian Alliance, which is under the joint relationship of various dukes. Dukes, or is it Dukes? Dukes, Dukes or Dukes? Put up your Dukes. Or is that Dukes? I don't know. The people of the Knights, some blah blah blah, cultivate in the snow mountains in the north. That's Ilia, place of all the Pegasi. Where is that Itaria? No, it's, I don't know. In Sakie live the various clans, which threw the plains on horseback. <laughs> the word is so destroyed. It's really hard to read. Maybe it's the translation, or maybe it's just me reading it stupidly. There's a general sense of power and balance and peace in Alib. However, that balance was suddenly disrupted. King Zephiel, ruler of the kingdom of Bern to the east, has sent his forces out to conquer the rest of Alib. Okay, so anyone who has played uh, Fire Emblem 7 might know this guy. Um, he was a big character in that, not massive, but he showed up. Burns forces invaded Sake and Alilia and mercifully, mercilessly massacred anyone who stood against them. Jesus Christ. Oh, tongue twister. And now Burn has shown side of invading the Lycia Alliance. Oh dear. A youth named Roy, protagonist, was in Lycia's largest region, uh, Ostia. He was sent as a transfer student to train and become the next Duke of Foray. I assume that's a big role. Well, I know that's a big role. However, Ellie Wood, protagonist in the next game, has fallen ill and sent for Roy to return home. Oh, shame. And here we have one of the best characters. Ah, uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> the Princess of Ostia has travelled to Lysa to pay her respects to Ellie Wood. Uh, I meant the one on the left. <laughs> I love Hexa. He's a big awesome guy. 
After getting the message, Roy hurried out on the way home. Dre had taken his loyal knights and boars. <laughs> his loyal knight and boars. Just some kind of... <laughs> just a guy tagging along. Oh, I take my royal knights, my best knight. Oh, boars, you can come along too. The story begins when Roy had reached an area just on the outskirts of Foray. I assume I say pronounce it Foray? 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 And here is a dawn of destiny. I think this is pretty much a tutorial, so to say. Oh, how do I do them speaking? Do I speak it or do I let them speak? I think I'll just kind of loosely narrate since I don't. I'm not doing voices. I'm terrible at voices. I can't do accents to save my life. Why am I whispering? Ah, boss, the residents of the castle has hidden themselves inside. I have to do his voice, won't I? He looks grimy, so it'll be like, Hey, boss, how you doing? How you doing? The residents can't do themselves inside. And this guy's got beards, so he'll be like, <laughs> Even I knew what the greatest night in life is, I can't beat an illness. <laughs> I can't remember his voice. I'm not doing voices. Uh, you were right when you said there wouldn't be many soldiers around here because they're getting ready to take on Burn. Of course, who do you think I am? See what I mean? The voices just switch every second. I'm not even I'm not even trying anymore. Kill off the guys in the castle while we still got time. Then treasure us. Okay, so these guys just want to kill our castle because they're absolute pricks. Castles ain't the only place to treasure. Let's go ransack the villages. Okay. Wow, what prick! You destroyed the village in one second. Oh, Elliewood's not looking good. It's terrible. Nice mustache. Bandits from Bomb Mountain are attacking. I do blast. <laughs> if I weren't in this state, I would teach them a lesson. Ellipsis exclamation mark. Cough cough. And here we have Liliana. That's it. Liliana, you must hide to my. This castle is going to become a battlefield. That's tragic, isn't it? No, sir. I will fight too. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> if something happened to you, I wouldn't know what to say. To Hector. <laughs> I'm in great fun with it. I'm, I'm, I'm in great fun with just how disjointed the sentences are. It's going to be alright. Roy should be almost here by now, so if we could hold our own until then, we can drive off these bandits. Molinus, I want you to send a messenger to Roy informing him of this. Attack <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. That was a strange voice. Okay, and now we have more bandits. Lots and lots of bandits, lots of axes. And here we have our main character. And we have a knight who just kind of rises instead of freedom. That was terrible. Oh, it's Lance. Cool name. Lance. 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 Champion of the Pokemon League. What's the matter, Lance? Why are you such a hurry? Master Roy, bandits have appeared and are attacking the castle as we speak. What did Lord Elliwood say? He's inside, defending against the bandits. Of the I'm being too quiet now. But I don't know how long he can last of his illness. Meh, <laughs> boss. Mm, he'll have a voice like this because he has boss. Excuse me, Lance, it's, it's Lady Aliana Sue. Are you from Ostia? Lady Lena is going out in the castle. She should be alright. As long as Lord Elliwood is with her, but he can't last forever. No, I should have Liliana go to the castle before me. I shouldn't have, indeed. Lord Roy, we we'll get won't solve anything. We must recapture the castle. Mont is right, we must hurry. Yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> alright, let's go. We're going to save those trapped inside the castle. Okay, here we go. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry for how terrible I did all of their voices. I pretty much butchered them. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and figure out. I think I will voice them, and I'm gonna give them all very try and give them all unique voices. But they will not stay consistent, just because I have a terrible, terrible memory, especially when I'm recording. Okay, so here we go. This is gameplay. 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 It's quite a small map. Uh, especially considering I've just come out of Fire Emblem Awakening, which is like the most recent one. I think it's like the 12th or 13th game or something. Either way. So this is a big difference for me. I need to get the controls. Okay, that's that. That's start. Uh, that's select. That's A. That's B. Uh, let's have a look at the data quickly. Okay. Nothing to look at there. What was I want to... Ah, config. Animation. Show animation without backgrounds. Show animation with background. Yes, do that. Uh, game speed. Uh, no, we'll leave that on. Tech speed fast, definitely. <laughs> Terrain, unit panel. I want a detailed combat window, auto cursor, blah, blah, blah. Do I really care about the window color? No, I don't. Actually, no, wait. Yeah, I do. Ah! I said it's a nice red, because this is the red play for... Oh, there's no red. That's just... Orange will have to do. Yeah, go orange. Orange, 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 because this is the last play of fire, because it's the... What is it? Sealed sword, that's it. Sword of fire. <laughs> okay, so let's get straight into it. 
Alright, so these guys... Okay, so they can move quite far. As I remember, barbarians... Are these barbarians? Oh, they're bandits. Wait, barbarians? Ah, that's a barbarian. These guys are fighters. Sounds a bit strange. I would have thought they'd have more barbarians than bandits. Oh, excuse me, just adjust them headset. Alright, um... Alright, so who have we got? We've got Lance. I think they're all level 1, aren't they? How do you actually tell? Shouldn't I have some details up or something? Uh, oh, it'll, probably say, it'll probably say on the unit screen. Here we are. Yeah, everyone is level 1, including Marcus, who is a paladin, though. So paladins are like... I'll explain more about how this works for newbies in a second. Just let me take a look at what I've got. Everyone is level 1, and everyone's quite boring. Alan... Okay, as I understand, he's the stronger one, and he's the faster one. Where's the other way around? No, that's definitely it. He's stronger, he's faster. If not, then blow me. I don't care. Um, one of them has a sword and one doesn't, doesn't it? Uh, nope, he has a sword and a javelin, and he has a sword and a lance. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he is the one. Okay, so let's... Okay, so let's go down here. So, alright. Uh, I'll explain the... <laughs> I'm going to the place now. I'll explain the basics. So basically, these are our units, as you can tell. And they're all different classes. Like we've got an archer, we've got two two uh two knights, cavaliers. Uh we've got an we've got two cavaliers, yeah. Then we've got an actual knight here. Uh, we've got Roy who is our lord, and we won't have many lords at all. And then we've got Marcus who is a paladin. And basically like these guys, when they reach a higher level, will have the chance to promote to Marcus, who is a paladin. So they'll become paladins. As we've got Marcus for now, he's not actually gonna be very good. I'm gonna hide him down here. He's a very strong unit, but if I use him, he's going to drain up everyone else's experience. So I'm not going to use him at all. I will use Walt, though. In fact, uh, Walt, you can fire this guy. I'm going to use Walt to support Roy for now, I think. So Walt can go up this way, and I think Roy can follow him, but oh, he can't go further than him. In which case, I'll put him here, and you can actually go here. Can I kill, the, can I kill this guy? Uh, I will deal 13 damage, and he has 12 HP. So yeah, I can kill him. Let's take him down. There you go. No oh, God, no, I didn't. Ah, that hurt. I'm not looking at the detail screen, right? I think I'm going to have to make it less detailed. <laughs> I thought it would be better if it was more detailed, but no. Uh, let's stick basic. Alright, uh, let's send Bors this way. Actually, I wonder if... Alright, I'll go here. That's actually pretty good. You can attack twice, Lance. Good job. Yeah, he's definitely the faster one. Eventually, I might speed some of these battle scenes up if they're a bit boring, but for now, I'm okay. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to send Bors down here. And what I'm actually going to do is, hopefully this works, I'm going to trade of him, and I'm going to take his javelin, which is a ranged weapon, and now, I can attack this guy from range, and I've got very low accuracy, but, nah, didn't think so. But, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Damn it, reinforcements already. But they ain't getting to the castle so easy! Okay, so basically, the way things work with uh, weapon-wise is, swords beat axes, axes beat spears, spears beat swords. It's a weapon triangle and it increases the chance to hit, and I think it might increase damage if you're using a weapon that counters the other. Oh god, he's attacking my archer. Oh, that was so lucky. 57% chance to hit. That's what the details in the corners mean. That's what hit means, how much how much chance they have to hit, and damage means how much damage they'll do. Crit is a critical strike, which triples the amount of damage they do if they hit. Um, let's keep going here. I've got a speed up button, and I will use that occasionally if things get quite boring. Uh, that bandit has nine. How much am I going to deal with him with Walt? Eight. Oh god, what am I doing? I'm actually getting used to the controls a bit, so bear with me if I get so if it goes a bit tips up. How many? How much damage will he do? Uh, he will do nine. So I'm actually going to finish him off with Roy, because Roy, I'm definitely need to going to build a lot of experience. He's quite a weak unit early on. In fact, most of our units are. But if we train him up and pick off people and tank with our stronger units then the weaker experience will the weaker units will become stronger than the stronger units we get at the beginning that's like Marcus is left over there in the corner. Okay, how much damage am I gonna do him? Eleven. He's only got two HP though, I, I didn't actually realise he was so weak. So I'm gonna get Walt to finish off because Archer I'm gonna have a bit more trouble training than the Cavaliers I think. Alright, so that wasn't too hard. Good job Walt, good job. Alright, now we're gonna send in Hmm. We'll send you in first. Let's see if you can do much with your javelin again. And yes, ten. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to use both of these cavaliers. I should probably decide on one I want to use. It'll probably be Lance because I love his color scheme. <laughs> so, yeah, like JD Green is my favorite color. Actually, I think you're a bit stronger, so you could probably take him out straight away, right? Yes, you can. Okay, so we'll send Alan up against him, 
and then we'll send Lance to hit that archer in the back because Lance is pretty fast and you might be able to actually kill him straight away. Alright, let's send him in. I'll probably go check out that village down south in a sec, but first I'm going to wipe a few of these guys out. I might even send Marcus to go deal with it. Yep, nice, nice. Didn't kill him, but dealt some pretty terrific damage. I always find that being faster is often better than being stronger because if you're faster, you deal twice, you hit twice anyway. Whereas if you're strong, you just hit for one massive uh, amount of health. Amount of health. Whereas if you're fast, you deal more damage overall and stronger anyway. So uh, normally I prefer the faster units like uh, Swordmasters and things like that. Although my favourite class, uh, I will explain when they come out when you see them because I don't actually want to spoil all that. Yeah, I don't want to spoil the promoted units and what they do, etc., etc. So I felt a bit bad for even revealing one of the names in them. But oh well. Okay, so Lance is here and he's dodging hits like a boss. He's absolutely wrecking them. Which is great, but in fairness, in these early levels, you're, you will often get a lot of sword units, and you'll often be set against a lot of axe units, so uh, I'm nothing too special at the moment. And this is, I don't know if there's actually a hard mode in this game, but this, for the moment, is just a normal mode. Nothing special. Okay, let's send you there. And another one taken out. Sorry, blowed in the microphone a bit there. Blowed? Jesus Christ. I am the worst English student. Can I kill off this guy? Yes, I can. Roy, you do your business. Roy's animation is this. It is quite funny. He just kind of like holds his sword really far out and then just kind of waves it about a bit. He's, he, look, he looks like he's never held a sword in his life. Okay, let's see if we can take him out of boars. I probably won't use boars because... Well, simply put, he bores me. <laughs> uh, he's just... Like, I use characters in this not because of their strengths or weaknesses, but because I like that character. And I don't like boars very much. He's just a bit ugly, curly green, quite strange hair. <laughs> And just not a character that interests me. I always pick the ones that I find funner rather than the strong ones. Alright, Lance, you can go up here. I'm pretty sure you're okay on your own. You're not going to kill this guy, but you can dish out some heavy damage. Unless I get a lucky 3% chance crit. 3% chance? Nah. Didn't think so, didn't think so. Okay. So how is everyone ever anyway? I'm absolutely fine. I have moved into my new university house. It's been, it's been nice, but there's no internet at the moment. So it's a bit... It's, I feel a bit... Like, what's the word? A little bit disjointed from my normal routine. Normally I wake up, go online, check what's on YouTube, uh, take a look at some Let's Plays, play some League of Legends, and then I start with the day. So I feel a bit like I've fallen out of my routine a bit. Well, none of these guys are attacking boars. Oh god, that actually quite hurt. So yeah, it's been, it's been an experience though, because it's given me time to actually get in touch with my offline life and like see how things were without the internet. So it's really enjoyable to just like go to the gym more often and go out for food and see friends and try and properly catch up with people without Facebook and all that. So it's actually been very enjoyable. So it has been a nice experience. And the new house is really nice. It's really spacious. The rooms are much better than last year. Rooms are much bigger than last year. And I have a king size bed this year, which is great. So it has been really nice. And my brother, my brother was throwing his old swords up. So I've got a big, a big like decorate, decoration of swords up on my wall at the moment. It looks great. I look a bit like a psychopath, but at the same time, it's still really cool. And I think that's how we're going to settle house disputes. We're going to have sword fights against each other. Uh, here we have Marcus talking to the local village girl. Hey, hey. I'm just not going to the castle. This may not be much, but something will really like the off you. Please do it well. 500, 500 gold. That's great. That's great. Gold is a bit tricky in this game, though, because shops and stuff are in-game, and you don't have, don't get to um like buy stuff out of game. So if you run out of weapons, let's say, in the middle of a playthrough, you're pretty much fucked. I mean, you're pretty much flipped. No, fuck it. I don't really care about us. I keep telling myself in Let's Plays I don't want to swear, but then I'm just kind of like, no, I really don't care. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to actually lead him back a bit. I'm not going to take on that fighter, because I'm hoping that fighter will actually go for Roy. And then Roy can get a little bit more experience. Boars, I'm going to try training him up a little bit, because I think I'm going to need his strength. Even if I don't like him, or even if eventually I'll get someone to replace him. For now, I need... I need Alan to die. <laughs> oh. Nobody saw that. Nobody nobody saw that. That was a horrible dream you just had. Where Alan had actually died. Jeez, imagine that. <laughs> but in fairness, this is a very hard game compared to the other one. Compared to Fire Emblem 7, this is a very hard game. But what was I saying? Yeah, Boars, I'm going to train him up a little bit because I need his strength, I feel. Uh, so, I'm going to be keeping him around, <laughs> in all seriousness. Um, yeah, that was quite depressing. 
<laughs> I can't believe I lost Alan that early. And I feel like I'm about to lose Lance. Nope, I didn't lose Lance. So I had to go... Lose Lance, lose Lance? Yeah, so that makes sense. So I had to go back. Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do this. I am actually going to write save states. Because I don't want this Let's Play to last forever. I want to be able to play through a map. And if I get it wrong, I can go back and try again. Uh, very quickly with ease. That's why I'm doing save states. But what I might eventually do is, if I'm having real trouble with a map, I'm going to just kind of jump cut and edit a playthrough. Like, just, I'm just going to find the perfect playthrough. Or I'm going to try and just make my way through it. I don't know. I'll do something. But either way, this is a really hard game. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And here we have Roy is leveled up. Then uh, Lord level 2. Uh, I'm going to try and get him to level 10 as soon as possible, just because I like having my Lord at level 10. Lance, have you got a Vulnery? I don't feel... Hmm... How far can you move? If I kill him, you're going to be able to attack Lance, that's for sure. Or what if I take him out with you instead? Alright, let's do that. Let's take you out with Alan. Oh, I could have just attacked him with Lance anyway, and then... Yeah, never mind. I'm going to level them. As... I'm gonna, for the sake of this, I'm still going to try and level them equally. Alright, I'll throw the you there so you can give Lance some moral support. What is actually in here is uh, in this game is support conversations, which were in the other game. And they're basically, if you if units attack together and if they stand next to each other and fight, then they will have the chance to get support conversations after the battle ends, which or during the battle, in which the, uh, the characters talk to each other and they just kind of have a bit of banter. And what I'm actually going to do is I might show these in an off video at some other point. I'm not planning on doing them myself just because in this game they're really kind of like uh, nitpicky and... Simply put, they're a pain in the ass to get. They're very difficult and you have to fight together for ages and you have to specifically change your tactics to make them stand together, which really kind of irritates me. And I just want to get through this game uh, not as quickly as possible, but I don't want it to take several hundred episodes. Um, here we are, Roy's under attack again. And another miss uh, for us. Oh, I can attack once. I thought it was faster than that. You let me down, Roy. Uh, I think the general consensus for attacking in this, the general ru uh, routine of attacking is Walt nitpicks them, and then Roy finishes them off. I think that's going to be my plan for a while, because then w Walt, Walt and Roy can kind of train together, and my la my cavaliers can like pick off units. Sorry, right, you're going to go in the forest, and you're also going to use a Volnery. I'm not risking it. I'd not want my lance dying again. And Volneries are kind of, I think they're quite easy to get in this game. Like you just go to a nearby shop, pick loads up. Same goes for weapons, you need to pick up loads of weapons in batch, I think. Alright, let's see if any of these guys fancy attacking me. Alright, you're going for Lance. Lance my Lance my fast horsey. I do love that the horse is a Batman mask on. Oh like a superhero mask. He's like, mmm, hey I'm bad horse. No 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 no. Okay, so um But yeah, new house is good and we got swords now so we can solve disputes with those and it's really been an experience living in my own house with uh, much less people than last year. Last year I lived with six guys. This year it's just one guy and two girls, which should be nice. It's my first ever time living with girls as well, so it should be like a tidier house and it should be a nicer atmosphere, I think. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm well hyped for it. Uh, I'm at Coventry University, actually. I've never ever mentioned that in a video. I don't know why. I guess I didn't want my private life getting out, but now I really don't care. I'm at Coventry University and it's been a blast. It's my third year and I'm looking forward to getting it started. It's going to be a, like, an amazing year, I think. This year is the year to end them all. <laughs> well, not so much, but even though this is going to be the best year in university. I have I have faith, that's what I have. Alright, level 3, right? Yeah, he's zooming up, isn't he, Roy? He's looking great, too. Roy's in, um, he was actually in Fire Emblem Awakening as a DLC. I haven't gotten him myself, but... Jesus Christ, his new design looks awesome, look beyond awesome. He looks... I know they're just trying to fit the characters in with the, the um, art style of that game, but... No, Roy look, really looks great in that game. That's half the reason I came back to playing this one, just because he looked like a badass. Although, I have actually always meant to Let's Play this game. When I was much younger, I actually tried to Let's Play this game using a very crappy recording setup. I can't remember what it was I used. I think it was Fraps, but, the, but I didn't know how to render videos. I had no software, and... Uh, I was just using the inbuilt microphone, so I sounded more than terrible. There you go. Look, the happy victory music is playing now. Alright, let's take care of this guy, Walt, because I think Roy's gotten a good few levels now. And, yep, level 2. Level 2, Walt. I was, I was hoping I'd hit, get everyone to level 2, 
by the end of chapter one. Bar Marcus and maybe Boars, but let's take a look. Uh, I need Alan and Lance to get up. Let's see if Lance can take him on. I'm pretty sure you could just, no, maybe not instantly kill him, but you can deal a bit of damage. So I think Lance is the sword horseman, and I guess Alan is the spear. Alright, um... Ashley, does he have a ranged weapon? What does he have? How do you actually check his equipment? Oh god. Um... A steel axe, that's not too bad then. Because <clears throat> he can't attack me from a range that way. Um, yeah, I can take this guy out with Lance, let's do that. There you go. I guess Lances are stronger than swords. Or I guess, yeah. Lances are probably a bit stronger than swords, got a bit more wham in them, so I, oh, I, so I guess Alan is the strong one. I'm going to make Lance go up against this guy, actually. I feel like Roy should, but I'm going to send Lance up against him, or at least to start off with. Because I want him to get a level. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Um, 13. Heesh. Even if he can't hit me, that's still a lot of damage if he does. So I'm just going to wait and let him attack me first. You damn idiots! Can you guys sit on these bastards? Uh, the accent keeps changing, see what I mean? I've got terrible, terrible, terrible memory. Oh, I missed. That's bad. I missed one at least. Alright, I'm going to keep Lance in there then, because he's still got loads of uh, health left. Level up! Yeah! Alright, so I've got ma the majority of, the majority of leveled up now. Did I give Boars that? Did I give Boars the Javelin this time? No, I didn't. Um, I'm going to give him the Javelin again. Just because in fairness, I prefer... Oh wait, oh it's Lance that has the Javelin, okay. I just prefer Boars having the Javelin than Lance really. Lance I'm going to get equipped well with Swords. And Boars... I just fit Boars I feel needs a bit more range to him considering he's very slow. Alright, so this will deal 8 damage, good, good. Some solid damage there. But I'm not one of those characters that, like, I'm not one of those people that, like, I like to make all the characters be good at everything they're good at. Like, if Boars can use javelins and axes, let's say, even though he can't at the moment, uh, if he can use both of those, I don't want him to be in a master of both. I just want him to be really good at one. I'll focus on that one because I'm not very good at, what's the word? I'm not very good at micromanaging, I guess. Like, like making sure everyone's perfect and got the weapons they need and sorted out and everyone's doing what they should be and everyone's getting the best skills and all that. I'm terrible at that. It's just too much for my tiny little brain. So, and let's actually bring Walt over here. So this playthrough is just going to be me playing through. I'm not aiming for perfect. I'm not aiming for the best of the best. I'm not aiming to be king of the world. I'm just aiming to play this game and have fun. I think that's the point of a Let's Play. So, I'm going to have fun. And Damas is down ass. Nah. What? What is the so strong? I see the accent change again. I know it's Russian. I think it's with the Russian voice I gave him at first, but it doesn't matter now because I'm never going to see him again. And Lance is level 3, so I'm definitely going to keep Lance about. Look at that handsome face, that rugged chin. I must admit, one thing in this game, the characters are a lot more, not boring, but they're a lot more plain than the characters in Fire Emblem 7. They've got a lot less costume and face to them, really. Father, Eliana. Roy, is that you? Why is everyone Russian? Roy. Father, Eliana, thank goodness you're alright. Right, thanks for coming this far. Of course, Father, how is your health? I'm fine, I'm still alive, see. But Rory, you do know why I called you back here? I am to take over your role of leading Fairy's military and join the Lycian Alliance army? Yes, good guess. Jeez, just jump in my dead man's boots, why not? As you know, Ban has started to conquer Lycia! We must follow the ancient rule and send out our military to protect the land of Lycia! Yes. <laughs> Simple answer, right? I really didn't want to send you out because you're still studying. But I'm not well. That would only be a hindrance to everyone else. Father. Master Elliewood, I will accompany Roy. I can't do girls. Maybe I won't do girls. Maybe we'll get the manly voices. I will accompany Roy because my father is Hector. And I could use my magic to me and more some help to Roy. No, Eliana, you must return to Ostia. Why? With Hector's absence, there is currently no one sitting in the front of us here, and you must do it because you are clearly the best. Uh, the people must be feeling uptight as well. You, being the princess, must take the throne until Hector returns and ease the tension of the people. Am I wrong? No, sir. 
Right. First, you must go to burn border. Meet with the mercenary group I have arranged a contact with. I will send Merlinus along with you. It would be very helpful with his knowledge. Thank you for everything, father. You'll be fine. You can do it. Go and fight and show them who you are. The next Duke of Foray. Yes. Boars, I have something to ask of you. I oh, know, my lady. I'm green. Green hair. Curly green hair. I will accompany you in my travels and let the protector of my life. Thank you, boss. Roy, be careful. I know. You too, Liliana. Or Lenny, Lilena, Lenin, Lilena. I'm going to call her Liliana. Lilana, 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 Lilana. And there we go. Chapter 1 done. There is a small village on the border of Foray and Burn. Here where was where Roy was to meet the mercenary band that Ellie would have hired for him. Just east of the village of something occupied by Burns forces, when Roy had reached the village, the castle was in a chaotic state. It was absolutely chaotic. It looked terrible. There were like cups everywhere and toilet roll holders just everywhere. It was horrible. Roy had yet to learn the confusion going on in the castle was going to cause turbulence all over Alib. 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 I'm not reading these sentences very well. You can pause them and read them yourself. There you go, we stuck a blue flag up. The Princess of Burn. What? Okay. I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I will speak to you next episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm sorry it's been a little disjointed and a bit silly, but I'm hoping you'll enjoy what I start be start doing here. I will speak to you guys soon. See you later.